So we just had the Canon 5D Mark III announcement, and you know it's it looks a lot. Essentially, it's going to be the same video quality wise as the 1DX, which was announced last year and been pushed forward till I think the end of April. So um, I don't think people are going to be as excited about this release in terms of video features. I mean, the lack of higher frame rate modes at 1080p now, I mean, it's essentially the same as the 7D was, what, in 2009, 720p at 50 and 60 frames per second. Um, doesn't really cut it for a 2012 camera anymore, especially one that's going to be, this time we'll get the price right, unlike the uh, D800 video at uh, $3,500. So the nice things that I said before about the 1DX video codec um, apply to the, the 5D Mark III as well. Uh, it has an intraframe codec uh, that can do, I think, 91 megabits per second at 1080p, 24. Um, that is actually pretty decent. So, and it's actually a better bit rate than the C300. Now, the problem before with the 5D Mark II and the 7D and the... Uh, all the other Canon cameras wasn't that it didn't have enough bitrate. There wasn't the actual resolution there that you needed a higher bitrate. So the, the 7D and 5D were more like uh, 720p pictures uh, expanded out to 1080p. So it's going to remain to be seen whether or not that's been improved on this model. Hopefully since the Moray is mostly fixed, then that that's actually the case, that it's actually a 1080p model. And uh, for some users, that could be a fairly large upgrade. Uh, unfortunately, reports are saying that the HDMI out of the camera isn't clean, so it's not going to be usable for recording. That might be something that the D800 is actually better at, depending on how clean of video downsampling it does going through the HDMI port. So essentially what I'm saying is we have a... Uh, kind of a turtle race between video features on these full-frame cameras. Um, both Nikon and Canon don't really seem to be pushing the edge very far, especially with what technology is actually possible today. It, it seems like they're both stunted maybe back a, a year and a half or, or two years in comparison to what could be done if they really truly focused on video features.